What's going on guys? Chaos here, bringing you guys another video. Last video I brought you guys a really good running scheme for the red zone at a single back wing tight. Single back wing tight is in a ton of playbooks. Uh, you, guys, you guys will be able to find it out of your playbook most likely. However, today we're jumping into some passing plays. Really good passing plays in the red zone to help you guys score more. We're in the Chargers and Broncos playbook. They have a play exclusive to those books at a single back wing tight. And it's something that you guys can add onto my ebook. If you guys haven't bought it already, my ebook is in the description below. Uh, offense and defense, but the offense is in Chargers playbook mainly. So at a trip tight end, you guys can pay for that stuff. However, I'm going to give you guys something for free today to add on to that scheme to help you guys score more in the red zone. So without further ado, let's jump into that video. Okay, boys. So you guys see we're here, single back wing tight. We're in the play X post. X post is exclusive to Chargers and Broncos, which is perfect for us because that's what we're in for our trip tight end. Those are the two best trip tight end formations or playbooks. And it allows us to use this in the red zone. So it's really good. Easy setup, man. Just zig X, zig circle, curl, triangle. Really simple. And you re-block the running back. Now, I'll show you guys against cover two how easy it gets. If they don't do any adjustments or whatever, I'm just going to show you how perfect of a spot this post gets to. Now, something that is important. We're in single back. I'm not going to do it on this first play. But it's important that you do it from now on. So I'm going to show you guys the drop back if I don't touch anything. And then I'll show you guys how to cancel the drop back. So if you don't do anything... He takes like a seven step drop. Now, it makes that throw a lot harder and it's more likely to overthrow and do things like that. Now, you guys, I'll show you guys in the replay real quick, but he drops back for an eternity if you don't touch anything. It's probably like, I think it's a seven step drop, which is actually ridiculous at a single back, which is why you get sacked half the time. Um, so just reset back up here. Two zigs and a curl. We're in cover two. Now, I'm going to show you guys how great this post is against cover two. If they happen to keep it, my bad, I forgot to tell you guys how to cancel it. So you cancel the drop back with the left stick. You either move to the left or move to the right. Just do something with the left stick and it'll keep your drop back from happening. You see, I just stick right there in the pocket and we go over there, we get a toe tap touchdown. And it gets to a really good spot on the field, guys. Uh, it pretty much beats everything. The thing that's gonna do the best is probably cover four, uh, but I'll show you each thing as we go along. But this is cover two, obviously. And you guys can see, perfect spot on the field you can really just high ball it um it's gonna get over the mid read it's gonna get underneath the deep half and you're gonna see this deep half from the left it's gonna be occupied by this curl and this curl is gonna do a good job against cover two and cover three of occupying the deep blues keeps this guy from being anywhere close to it so just have that having that on the field is, is important show you guys one more time against cover two and then we'll move into cover three and i forgot to cancel my drop back there which makes it a harder throw and the harder the throw and the longer the throw the more time it gives the defender so that's important guys i know i didn't do it but watch how much farther i have to throw it from if i don't cancel my drop back so instead of throwing it from about the 10 which is where you cancel i dropped all the way back to like the 17 and then it gives this mid read time to get back there if i'm throwing this thing from the 10 that thing's already caught and it's already a touchdown so which that's why it gives him time to get back to it you need to cancel that drop back which I didn't do again. <laughs> and I, I'm going to keep this in. Usually I would cut this. But it's important for you guys to learn it. As I make mistakes, you guys can learn from my mistakes. So I didn't cancel it again. Now we canceled it. And now it's going to be an easy read. You guys can see how much of a difference it makes. It gives Deion Jones at the mid read this much time to react to it. So I know I said I was only going to show you guys one more time. But since I was making mistakes, I wanted to show you guys that it works still. And just show you guys how to... Uh, avoid the mistakes and I canceled it a little late there but it still was like a three to four step drop instead of seven I'm used to my shotgun you guys in single back probably cancel your your drop backs like fiends like absolute goons but me being in shotgun I'm not used to cancel my drop back every single rip like this but it's important that you guys do that so I'm gonna cut right here and we're gonna jump back into cover three okay boys we're back so something I forgot to mention was you want your post to be on the wide hash. If you're on the left hash, you want your post to be on the right. If you're on the right hash, you want your post to be on the left. So you want your post to be on the wide hat, uh, on the wide side of the field. So I forgot to mention that. I'll put a note in the beginning just to tell you guys, make sure you guys check that, that part out. And uh, now we'll show you guys the setup. So it's the same exact setup against cover three. It's gonna be the same setup against everything, which is great. Having a universal setup is perfect. And now I'm gonna show you guys what this curl does versus this cover three and then how it allows you to uh, stop it. Now, this match on the outside will match this post for a little bit. I'm going to show you guys that you still have a window to throw it with the match. But after the first play or two, I'm going to get rid of this because most people 
honestly in the red zone are going to get rid of this. Well, I personally never keep it. I probably cloud them. Another thing that people might do is outside quarter. Uh, I don't know if people play sticks or not, uh, but they might play sticks. But I'll leave the deep third this time, and I'll show you guys that you still have a window whether they match it or not. But honestly, I'm getting rid of it most of the time. Right there, you see the window. You go get it. Now I'm going to show you why you have this window. Even when he matches. So when he matches, he's still going to get beat because it's man-to-man -man against the post. So he gets beat. And this deep third funnels over to the to the curl. He doesn't even really play the curl. You can still highball it. And I'll show you guys that after I throw this post a couple times. But just him going over there like that gives you that pocket to throw it. So now put a cloud over there. Show you guys even more how open he gets. Same setup. Go through that post. Go get it. Now he got a knockout animation. That right there probably happens one out of 50 times at the most. If you guys have played this game, you guys know it is nothing like that. It, it's literally insane. <laughs> so, cancel your drop back. Now, I'm, I'm having trouble canceling my drop back right now, but that's on me. Like I said, guys, just move left to right. You'll cancel it and you're good to go. But you guys are seeing how easy this is, how great of a play this is. It gets to such a good spot on the field for the red zone. It makes scoring in the red zone so much easier. Cancel your drop back. And good throw there from Matt Ryan. But you guys can see it was wide open. It's the same exact thing every single time. And that post is going to be there. If they're not using it, I'm throwing that literally every single rip. Cancel drop back. High ball the post. Go get it. Now, whoever their safety is, I need him to play like that when I play Madden football because... I'm getting teabagged with three people every play. I know you guys are too. And I can't even get, catch the ball with Julio right now. But And there we go. Go get it. So you guys get it. It works every time. Now I'm going to show you guys the curl. Uh, just show you guys a couple different reads that you guys can make on this play. I'll highball the curl here. Just a read for you guys. I know it doesn't look like it's really open. Uh, but this is John Madden football 18. Okay, this isn't, I mean, <laughs> this is 19. All right, this is this is like Madden 16 all over again as far as these red zone high balls. So it's just something that you can do. The better you are, the more mutt players you have, the better this is going to be. Now, Saw Bear is literally dog trash in regs. I should probably have Hooper there for the video's sake. But honestly, I don't care if he catches it one time for video. I won't cut it. I don't even care. The, literally the point of this is just to show you guys that it's going to be open on the high ball. Gosh, dang. And that if you have somebody like Gronk, somebody like um, somebody like Vernon Davis, um, Shannon Sharp, these guys will go get it for you. Um, and just showing you that you have the pocket to go get it. Now, Saw Bear's doo-doo cheeks. So that's all I'm going to show. I'm just going to show you guys that's a read. Something else you guys can see here against Tampa 2 is... That this zig will get a little space. Um, just in that little pocket right there. Pick up a few yards. Just If they do play clouds from their cover too, you have that. Just letting you guys see that. Now, I'm going to cut one last time. And I'm going to show you guys against cover four uh, quarters, uh, quarter zones. And we're going to be able to uh, finish this play. Okay, boys. Last part of the video. So, I showed you guys that it worked against cover three. And now here's like kind of... I'm using quarter zones, but I wanted to show you guys like the deep quarter. So I didn't want them to match because I don't know anyone that plays like cover four palms and quarters in the red zone without shading or anything. So I just I made kind of my own cover six here. Now you're gonna see the post is gonna run by the deep quarter, but it's the deep half zone on the left is gonna get held by the curl. So you're gonna have a little pocket to throw it. So cancel your drop back and throw that little post. Now you guys see that was a touchdown. That probably guards the best. As I said all video, deep quarters probably guard the best. It's probably the best way to guard it, but you do have a little pocket, so I'm going to show you guys that here. He runs by him, and this guy just sits here for a second. He just sits here as he lets him run by, and you can just throw it right in the back of the end zone. I'm going to show you guys a couple more times, just to show you guys that it works fairly consistently. Now, like I said, it's going to guard it the best. There we go. Oh. That's not what you want. Okay. Cover six. Sorry, my adjustments are being weird right now. 
Okay, here we go. Cancel. Uh, I didn't cancel very well, but as you can see, we get that little pocket. Now he gets the knockout right there. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys. If you got Randy Moss, uh, Odell Beckham, you're probably gonna catch these balls like nine times out of ten. Julio, like these guys and these guys and Mutt are just crazy. Jeez, man. I don't know how you guys want us to go back like all the way down the field. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. You guys are literally monsters. The fact that you guys can run uh, single back all the way down the field, it's literally crazy to me. I get sacked a million times. You can't, you can't do anything if you don't cancel your drop back. Literally all the time, but you guys can see it. I mean, I don't really care too much if I catch it or not, because this, this is regs. Julio's the best at it, but if you're a mutt, you're gonna catch it every single time, like without fail. Um, and regs, eh, you'll catch it most of the time. Not every single time with Julio. Um, but like I said, the deep quarter's gonna do the best job at guarding it, just because it kinda sits behind it. But you'll get that little pocket a lot of the time. I wanna complete it one more time for you guys, but like I said, this is a really, really, really good red zone play. And then I have another one from this, from this exact same scheme, exact same play. I'm going to show you guys in the next video, but I don't want to make the videos too long, so I'm going to save the next one, but I'm getting unlucky with these animations. He keeps hitting me in the bottom of my legs, but you guys saw that I caught it the first time. I'm not going to complain about it. It's probably going to guard it the best. Like I said, it's not a foolproof play by any stretch of the means. It is a very good play. It's going to beat cover two every single time, literally every single time. It's going to beat cover three probably 95% of the time. And then cover four, it's probably a 50-50 ball. Now, it doesn't look like a 50-50 ball right now just because I've dropped the last few. But, I mean, you guys get it. I'll show you guys one more time as we close. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys will add it to your scheme, especially if you bought my ebook. If you bought my ebook, it fits in perfectly out of the Charger scheme. And I hope you guys will drop a like for me and show me some love. I'll show you all love with these videos. And we finally got one in. Come on. Drop a like for me from the touchdown. Take it easy, man. Peace.